Good afternoon, everyone. It is another magical day at Walt Disney World today, and David and I are coming to you from the Polynesian Village Resort. Today, we've got special plans because we are dining at a restaurant that both of us know we love. First time in a long, long time. David, we are eating at... Ohana. Oh my gosh, so excited about it. If you don't know about Ohana, it is a buffet-style family service restaurant on the top of the Polynesian Village Resort. And on top of all of that, our reservation is right around 8, 15, 8, 30. So we're gonna see the fireworks from our table. It's going to be magical. Definitely one of the best parts of staying at the Polynesian, or the Contemporary, or the Grand. It's that convenience by monorail. From our character warehouse trip, you'll notice that I am wearing my new Pandora flip-flops right there. It's been raining quite a bit today, and we're only going to the Polynesian. We have no plans to go to the park, so flip-flops today. Having the monorail, the Polynesian, is such a big part of why I want to stay here on a staycation in the future. Oh my gosh, this is going to be amazing. Or Contemporary or Grand Floridian. And now, with the gondola going up, it makes me want to stay there too, just for the convenience. I mean, you, I don't think you can capture, you know, the, the views, like the monorail, but the gondola is going to be so fantastic to experience. I should have thought of it in advance. I should have worn a Hawaiian shirt to this. Next time. Next time. Oh. Next time. What would you name that smell? Just as you're standing here, right outside the entrance of the Polynesian, I don't know, I have no idea how to name that one. It's the smell of the Polynesian. The rainforest smell. Natural grass and water. Very natural. Natural smell. Good, I like that rainforest smell. All right, we'll call it the rainforest smell. We are early for our reservations, just how I like it. We're gonna check out Boutique Tiki and get an in-depth look at everything they have and consider what we might want for the future. Take a look at the lanterns above us. And we've really taken the time to notice how they flicker as if they've got like a flame inside. I like that. I had never noticed these before. Take a look, you've got like a little Mickey ice cream there. And it's a fan right there on the front. All right, turn it on. It doesn't have any batteries in there. There's a cooling fan that looks like a Mickey ice cream. That's awesome. It costs $12.99. Now, if you're wondering about Disney soaps, they still do have them inside the stores. You can get large containers of them, $25. $20, somewhere in that range. They even have specialty ones, like the grapefruit body lotion right there. Those are available for purchase in the store. I like this shirt a lot. It's kind of fun to do the impossible. All of these paintings are truly incredible. Look at Lilo and Stitch and the sunset right there. I've never seen that before. That one is $150, very nice. But the Enchanted Tiki Room, I mean, how can you how can you talk about the classics? I love the classics. You can't beat the classics. Enchanted Tiki Room with the Dole Whip in hand. Ah, uh, musical shaker. Huh. Hadn't seen that before. Made in Ghana using natural materials such as gourds, straw, and seed pods. Interesting sound it makes. Price $55. Okay. It's actually not bad for what it is and how much I like it. I'm not going to be buying it, but I've always, whenever I see this one, I'm always super tempted. Beautiful. I mean, you can tell. Beautiful stuff. Yeah. I can't blame you. The shrunken head bag right here. They're doing a lot of specialty bags nowadays. Nothing on the back, but you can see the shrunken head right there. If you're a fan of Trader Sam's, that might be one you'd be interested in. $65. Take a look at Jose right here in his little perch. That is so cool to just kind of have on your desk. Right there, so you can think of the Enchanted Tiki Room. $65, very, very cool. Love all these paintings and pictures, and Auntie right there, and there's Walt and Lillian right there. Look at all of the different lays around their neck there. I really, really like that. Looking outside of the room, I forgot where they are in that picture, but uh, you can tell they were already thinking about how they can bring that where they are to us. Captain Cook's is delicious too. Definitely one I want to experience again and again, but Ohana is something special. It's just something we just wanted to experience for a long, long time, haven't been back to in a long time. I'm glad we're going tonight. I'm so glad. Yeah. Thinking of staycations and where we might want to stay in the future, Polynesian for me, pretty high on the list. That, that's one I definitely want to experience from sunup to sundown. And I think when we were kids, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, we had this one opportunity to like visit the club level for like one night. It was like the best ever because we had like gummy worms all day as kids. We felt sick later. That was, <laughs> you remember those times? Good. Good times. Good. I understand the value of making sure that the resort pool and amenities are just for resort guests, but it's motivation for me anyway to want to wanna do a staycation. You see like the spa, I see that pool, I see the slides. I, I wanna go. It looks super fun. I wanna do it. Here's the fire pit by the water right here. You can see they've put out lots of chairs for guests. In the past, there weren't nearly as many chairs for guests to experience the fireworks, but 
Disney has accommodated brought even more down here. I have a feeling one day in the future we'll see even more chairs than this. That's what I envision. Also, you've got the swinging chairs over there, usually pretty crowded. It is crowded right now. But uh, I know there'll be days in the future where no one's here will be able to experience it together. I'm now going to show David the benefit of wearing flip-flops at the Polynesian Village Resort. Bye, I'm in the same. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, that is the club up there, the club level club where you can go for concierge food and all of that. I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm like 90% sure that's it, but only one way to find out. Staycation. <laughs> Ah, it's so nice. <laughs> it's a nice place to be. It's yes, very it relaxing. is. Mm -hmm. The resorts for me, especially the Polynesian, is one of the most relaxing. Just be able to sit back and enjoy the feeling and the view, the smell, the sounds. Fantastic. I love it. Before a reservation at Ohana, I'm going to take a little bit more time now to just walk around and explore just a bit more of the Polynesian, share it with you. This is by far some of the most relaxing moments I have had at Walt Disney World Resorts ever. And that's, that's huge. That is unbelievably huge because I love Walt Disney World. You know how much I do. And to have like the most relaxing moments ever, it's just, it's unreal. It's unreal. I love being here. I don't. Don't forget to do it if you're on vacation. Enjoy your resort on vacation. I keep saying that. The main pool is behind us now, just kind of walking around exploring. I think this is the Hawaii building. Several different buildings all around. They have a secondary pool here with Oasis, which is the uh, pool bar here by the secondary pool. So primary pool, secondary pool, far less crowded. If you're staying at a Polynesian Village Resort, you want a far less crowded pool experience, try, try the secondary pool with Oasis. Very light crowds. Just walking past, take a look. These rocks are assembled in the shapes of Vicky's. I did not set that up, I promise. I just found, wait, here's another one. Okay, look, they're all over. Cast members must have done this. I think it's just total joy. It, it's hard to describe that. And it's not going away. It's been weeks. I've lived here for weeks and it's not going away. Wow, total joy. This was the right decision for me, making this move to Florida. And you know, I, I knew that pretty, pretty fast after I got here. But um, you know, you know it more and more over time. So now I feel like it is 100%. Like there's no doubt at all that this was the right decision. And it's not just Disney that I love so much. It's the pace of Florida. I've noticed that there's a huge pace change in terms of, you know, it's just, in DC, there's just an overall feeling of kind of rush all over the entire city and surrounding area called the DMV for us. And um, you don't find that here at all. I mean, there's some rush around the theme parks because people want to experience it, but that's just a lot of very happy feelings throughout. And that's, um, it's a great feeling. It's, it's a totally, totally different lifestyle. And I cannot tell you how much more I love it. After some super relaxing time here at the Polynesian Village Resort, David and I are gonna make our way into Ohana. It's, it's an amazing feeling. I cannot wait to experience all of it. And having that relaxation for an hour, two hours prior to the meal, I feel like is a big part of it now. It's amazing, it yeah. really is. I feel like it's almost something you'd wanna do on an everyday basis. Yes. Because being able to soak in this time, just sit here and enjoy the ambiance, just really add to that experience. I think we're gonna enjoy the food that much more. I think so, let's go have it. David. Yes. Are you hungry? Oh yes. Okay. Okay, scale of one to 10, 10 being Ohana, how hungry are you? I am at a 11. Oh, 11, so what, what, is, what is 11? Ohana plus, plus Sana'a afterwards. There you go, okay. All right, we'll just do an Ohana for now. Okay, sounds All right, good. Sounds on good. our way right now. It's funny, now that I'm here yeah. by Ohana, we're waiting for our table, by the way, it, my hunger has just like increased oh. tremendously. I'm gonna be able to eat so much. So looking forward to this meal. I had never noticed this before. Take a look at the lights here. Love these lights. You can see they're kind of like on bamboo, you can say tables more or less. And the ropes go all the way up to that pulley, right up there. And they go across. The pulley goes across the rope. Another pulley goes all the way down. And they're actually tied on to the pillar right here. And the whole thing's held up by just those anchors on that pillar. And I'm wondering if, if someone was to, you know, have to do maintenance on it, would they actually have to take the rope off of that anchor there and bring everything down. That would be really interesting to see. I, 
I would imagine so, but there's also a, a cable that's holding them up as well. It's a very thin cable, kind of next to the rope too, so it's probably like a combination of both. The rope probably more of just for looks, and the cable's most of the weight, but uh, I love the look. While we're waiting for Ohana, we're taking another look at the Kona Island Coffee and Sushi Bar menu. They've got the coffee bar, coffee drinks, all that good stuff. They also have sushi, which is not available right now, but they do have some interesting seasonal cupcakes. Take a look at the unicorn seasonal cupcake right there, so cool, and the stitch one. It's awesome. We just got the text message, table is ready. Let's go experience it. I'm super hungry. Let's do it. Super duper hungry. I can feel the hunger growing. You just smell it. It's just like hunger growing. Those rolls are the best. I'm forgetting all the little details. Yes. I'm so excited for that. They haven't changed the layout of this restaurant since That's we were awesome. kids. Yeah. It's been the exact same and I've been loving it. Yeah, definitely. It's like the guessing game. Where's our table going to be? Where's our table going to be? Where's our table going to be? Window, 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 window. Oh my gosh, window. Yes, you got the window. This is an amazing spot. Thank you. Take a look at the table that we have right by the window. I mean, come on. Couldn't have asked for a better table. I didn't even ask. I did not even mention it. We're at table 230 for reference. I mean, come on, come on. Pineapple coconut bread for the first time in a long, long time. I love this bread so much. Wow, I forgot how good it is. Now, for the sake of being here, I do want to try the kale salad. I'm told it's very good. Definitely want to at least taste it. I think this is actually the second best salad I've had at Walt Disney World. I'm guessing you can probably guess the first. It's from the Brown Derby at Hollywood Studios, but that's not a surprise, not a surprise at all. Not bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Take a look at our appetizers right there. You've got the broccoli, the uh, dumplings, and chicken wings, and the noodles right there. It all looks delicious. I remember it being some of the best around. Let's try it. Noodles first. Noodles are truly amazing. I remember them being some of the best, but I, I can't get over them. I, I could eat these all day and all night, every day, and every night. All right, now we're trying the dumpling. Why can't I make dumplings like this? They're amazing. <laughs> you need a little bit of dipping sauce somewhere, but even without dipping sauce, I feel like they're fantastic. Chicken wing time, I've been looking forward to this. It's interesting, they, they're trying to mix spicy and sweet, and it tastes really good, but it's like, it's a weird flavor. You kind of have to get, adjust to it a little bit. Like it takes a, takes that second bite. Extremely good. Really love these chicken wings. That being said, I prefer the dumplings and noodles even more, but I will eat these chicken wings all day. I'm telling you, unbelievable. Overall, all the appetizers, incredible. David, what was your favorite? My favorite is probably those noodles. The noodles were amazing. I'm either, I'm between the noodles and the dumplings, but everything's good. The broccoli, the chicken wings, everything is good. There is nothing bad here. It's an amazing place. Yeah. I love it already. And now it's time for the entrees. First up, the chicken. Let's see if it compares to all the other deliciousness that we've tried so far. I'm done. I'm done. I think I can say, with confidence, right at this moment, after the first bite, that that might be the best piece of chicken I've ever had in my whole life. Yep, I can, I can almost say with certainty that is the best piece of chicken I've ever had in my whole life. I am not overstating that. Wow. Really, really delicious chicken. The flavor, especially the middle part, that, that non-end piece for me, super soft. The flavor's great. I'm loving this chicken. Better than I remember, I'm telling you. There you go. That's Jeez. what I like to hear. I have no idea how they get the chicken that moist and that flavorful at the same time. I, I, have, no, I have no idea. I have no, I'm just so glad to be here. Now we're trying the steak. So it seems a little tougher, a little bit on the medium side. Maybe I'll, I'll start asking for medium rare. We'll see. I want to give it a try, see if it compares to the chicken. Flavor all the way through. How do they How do, they do that? How do you get flavor to go? I mean, I, I'm used to like a rub on the outside. You get a flavor on the outside, and then just the meat flavor on the inside. There is flavor all the way through the piece. I, I need another bite of the steak. I need, I need another bite. Super impressed with the steak. And I know what you're thinking, Michael. Does it compare with Skipper Canteen? It does. It's, it's right up there with Skipper Canteen. Is it better than Skipper Canteen? I can't. I can't really compare those two. It's a very different flavor. Very different steak. Yeah. But this is one of the best. One of the best. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna try just kind of another piece to see if maybe that piece was like a fluke. See if it was different. Let's just try another piece of the steak here. But you know what I think. Definitely wasn't a fluke. I love that steak. Cannot recommend it highly enough. Steak and chicken, 10 out of 10. So, so good. Love them so both. Not this amazing. I do not remember it at this level. I do not remember it 
to this degree. As we were enjoying the food, Dave and I totally missed the fact that the water pageant is going by as we're sitting here. Hard to see for you, but we can see it totally clearly here. Love, love this spot. Now the moment that David has been waiting for with bated breath, the peel and eat shrimp from Ohada. I'm gonna peel a piece, David's gonna peel a piece, and we're gonna try them together. Why can't all shrimp taste like that? I I'm telling you, I'm telling you, oh my gosh. David, David, come on. Talk to me here, talk to me. It's the best shrimp ever. Boom. Boom. It's the best shrimp ever. I can't, I can't. It's it's too good. It's too good. I love seeing the American flags and the water pageant right outside. Can you see that? Yeah. The hard choice is what is my favorite of the three that we've tried? The chicken, the shrimp, or the steak? I don't really want to choose because they are all amazing. I, I could I could say the chicken, but then I feel like I'm undercutting the shrimp. And I could say the shrimp, but then I feel like I'm undercutting the chicken. So I think it's between the shrimp and the chicken. The steak's great too. Please do not underestimate and underappreciate the steak. It's amazing. But the shrimp and chicken are out there. Some of the very best I've ever had. That good. Time is now 9 o'clock. The music is starting to pipe in. Fireworks are just about to begin. Wow. Oh my god. You can tell I'm leaning back a little bit just to see it, but oh my god. <laughs> You can really see the fireworks shapes from here when you're all the way back sitting up high. You can see the boxes, the bells, the fish hooks, the targets. It's amazing. Oh my God. They're so large. The fireworks are much larger than you think. I have goosebumps. I have goosebumps. David, what did you think of Happily Ever After from Ohana? <laughs> really, really, really nice. I loved it. Great show, now continuing on with some amazing steak, shrimp, chicken, just eating our way through, loving every minute. Oh my God. We've reached a point in the meal where both of us are full. We're both full, but we don't want to stop eating because the food's so good. But that's a problem. You don't want to do that because then you'll feel sick. And you want to leave room for dessert too. So. A couple more bites, and then we'll start making our way toward bread service. I don't want this meal to end, though. That's, that's how good it is. It has been nothing but A-plus the whole time. It has, it has reached new levels for me. I had forgotten how good it was. It has reached new levels for me personally. We stopped. We don't feel sick, but we are totally full. That's the key. Do not overeat, because I feel like I would regret it if I overeat. So, comfortably full, ready for some dessert, but just a little bit. That, that's how I feel. See it. All right, Carmel. All right. Yeah. Oh. Wow. The bread pudding, the famous bread pudding, the bread pudding that is one of the best at Walt Disney World. Are you ready? Let's try it together. <laughs> I am so glad that we left room for this. I am so glad we left room for this. What do you think? Oh, so good. That banana flavor. Yes. I don't even remember the banana -y yes. flavor. Yes, yes. It's so good. I absolutely so love it. You may recall a couple years ago, I actually tried to make it myself. Obviously, this is far better. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Mm. I, I could eat this all day. All day. David and I just finishing up the bread pudding right now. Gotta tell you, fantastic experience all around. I absolutely love Opana. I love it even more now. Even more. Greater appreciation of it. And we've spoken about this before, how if it is worth the price, then it is a fantastic choice to me. This is a restaurant that is expensive. However, to me, worth every penny. Absolutely worth it because it's such good quality. Amazing views. Fantastic fantastic service, just an all-around winner. Ohana for dinner, unbelievable. Our mouths are saying, I want more of this food. But our stomachs are like, you, you do that, and you're in trouble. So we, we have stopped. But this has been just an A-plus experience all around. Food was amazing. Views, incredible. Service, fantastic. One of my new favorites. I mean, I, I always loved Ohana, but I guess coming back had to kind of like put it back at the forefront of my mind. I love it. That was a lot of food. Just be really hungry when you go in there. Try not to overstuff. I think I had like one or two many bites. It's like one too many bites. But, uh, but wow, so good. The word of the wise, I, you know, I was saying it as you're eating, but we, we both ate too much. We, bo we both ate too much. It's hard, it's hard not to when the food's that good. 
You're just like, oh, it's so good. So it's good. so good. But we ate too much, both of us. Uh, learn from our mistakes. Don't, don't, don't eat that much at Ohana, please. After an incredible afternoon and an equally amazing dinner, we are making our way back to the car. Thank you so much for sharing the magic with us today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time. Have a magical day. See you real soon. Oh, 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 o